We have been seeing examples with the logistic model where we have this parameter R and as R changes, fixed points appear or disappear, periodic orbits appear or disappear, fixed points change in their stability. This is all an example of the same phenomenon. Let's say that a dynamical system has some parameter R in it, like the logistic model did. Then a bifurcation value is a value of R where fixed points appear or vanish or change stability or where periodic orbits appear or vanish or change stability. So looking at the logistic model, there is, for example, a bifurcation value at R equals one, because when R is between zero and one, we have two fixed points. As R increases, our fixed points get closer and closer together. And when R equals one, suddenly, instead of two fixed points, we have one fixed point. Or at R equals three, there's a bifurcation. We don't have a periodic orbit. We don't have a periodic orbit. As R increases, we have no periodic orbits. R hits three suddenly there's a periodic orbit. And in a more specialized class, we could talk a lot about bifurcations. I mean, there are ways to classify bifurcations. They get names. We could learn theorems about how if the derivative here is this and that derivative is that this bifurcation is classified in such and such a way. For the purposes of an undergraduate differential equations class, I think knowing what a bifurcation value is, is enough. Let me remind you, by the way, that we also talk about bifurcations in differential equations. It's not just a dynamical systems thing. That happened way back at the beginning of the course, so you might not really remember it very clearly. But in the context of a population model, a fish population model where we were harvesting fish, we talked about fixed point appearing and disappearing in differential equations as well.